Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, thanks so much for being here. So today I'm going to be showing you on this mannequin just here, a twist cut bob. So what we're going to do is we're going to just section into two half and half of the heads and we're going to be doing a twist cutting technique on the back to put in a graduated sort of A-line shape. Super, super quick and super, super simple. So let's get into the haircut. So we've got a one length bob as it is with a little bit of a fringe. We're going to be doing the twist cut technique on the fringe and on the back to create a beautiful sort of butterfly bangs, but a graduated bob, super simple. On the mannequin head or on your client's head, we're just splitting front to back. So we've gone from that sort of high point in the head to just on top of that ear, like so. So once we've done that, we're gonna continue onto the, on the other side. But just jumping over to here, so we're looking at the high point of the head, there, splitting front to back, and then again, just behind the sort of like the top of the ear front to back that is it and then when it comes to the fringe we're going to do that as well so we'll come in something like that just to create a bit of a, a triangle at that front give us this nice area here and we can work from there creating the butterfly bangs technique on the front using a twist cutting method. So now we're here, we've done one side, we just want to follow that down again to this side here, exactly the same. And I'm just sectioning out this front. So how we're looking at the minute is we've got two sectioning clips on that front, pulling all that to the front to section that out the way, which then leaves us with this back area. And there's a the techniques to this. So we get our cutting hand. And what we want to do, so we want to control, this is quite short, this bob already, but the client has said we want to go shorter, we want something a bit different. These two fingers on our cutting hand, we go in like so. We then twist to there. We grab our non-cutting hand, we go in there and we continue round to there. Now that hair that lives there is currently here. That hair that lives there is currently there. And wherever your fingers are, that is where the length is going to be. So if we look there, the, the middle hasn't changed. So we know that middle point there is gonna be that short. And then we're gonna go in like so just want to make sure that i'm not going to be cutting my fingers so i'm just going to that hair that's living there just open it up a little bit more and what you're going to find now that i've released that so you can see that now it goes up and down up and down I'm just gonna straighten this so you can see exactly how that hair bevels round. So I've just sectioned off just to get ready to straighten. And I just wanna bend these around a little bit. That bob was sort of kicking out a bit, but you can see just there, how you've got that real nice shape into there. Once I've straightened it, I'm just gonna refine it off slightly and then bring in the sides. So that's it all straightened. You can see, it's got a really nice little graduated bob. So let's see if we need to connect these sides. Because we di over directed back, it maintained exactly where that is. So that's the mannequin all smooth, straightened through. And I'm just putting the head forward, as we would with a client, just to make sure that we're addressing the graduation. Now we want graduation, but we just want it just to follow that haircut nice and smoothly or seamlessly. So again, I'm just going to be coming up through into that nape. This is where stayed the same. 
our fingers were here which set the length and then that twist is what's give us that shape around into that nape. you can see over through there and there we go you can see that graduation that's just put in there just using the twist cut method follows that hairline beautifully now if we wanted to soften that off at all what we could do we could just bring it straight out you can see how nice and blunt that line is that's what's been put in from our haircut and we can just point cut into that section like that and it will just soften off that haircut again we're going to pull straight out and just soften off a little bit more into there you just see it softening off as we're doing it again there So there you go, just a really simple technique just to be able to put in a soft bit of graduation in one cut at the back. You could do it wet, you could do it dry, but look. Really nice, simple technique and puts that graduation in there because of the way our fingers are positioned. Have a look at. It's just these corners. And we can just literally pull back and we can see there's a little bit of Disconnection in length there, just like if we were doing a graduated bob, we can just soften that off into there, and then again, the same on the other side, just pull that corner straight back. Look at where that length finishes and that bulk begins, and then just soften off through there. Now, to put in butterfly bangs with this haircut, fringe is quite long. So we're just going to draw a triangle through here, like I mentioned earlier. And we're taking quite a deep triangle, like I showed. And where do you want them to sit? So this is currently sitting below the nose. And again, we got our cutting hand. We put it in to where we want it to be. And I'm resting my fingers on the nose. We turn it straight down, so we're pointing to the floor. We get our non-cutting hand, comes in on top, and it continues that twist around. And then what we're looking at is my fingers resting on the nose. And again, we just cut straight across there. Be careful not to cut yourself. Again, a straight line, straight through there. We'll let it fall. And you've got really nice symmetry on that fringe. I'm just going to get the straighteners and just going to bend that fringe out a little bit. Just getting that hair nice and warm. Get the clips and just let that set. So again, twist cut at the back, twist cut at the front and it's creating something which is bang on trend right now. I'm seeing so many more sort of like bobs, graduated bobs coming back into the salon. It's something that never goes out of fashion and just arming you with something as simple as twist cutting just to help you understand it a little bit more. So hair needs to travel from there to there, there to there to maintain length. But something like twist cutting can just give you that result. I think it's something really valuable. And like I said, you can do it on wet hair. So you could be doing it, you could be twisting it. You've got to be careful of on wet hair, wet hair stretches. And this is why I did it on dry, just for like that impact. Like I do with all of my dry hair cutting uh, videos, just to show you the initial impact. If we take hair from one place, twist it to another, pull it to another. It shows you instantly as we drop it where it's going to, to sit, to live. So that's why I bring you these, hopefully, educational videos, just to show you these little techniques, tips and tricks that we learn along the way. Nice little face frame and bangs, cute little length, the length was already there, but then that really nice bit of graduation just through that back. You can really see that shape. 
So I hope this video has helped you understand what twist cutting does. If we were to over direct or twist hair from one place to another, we're going to be maintaining length when we do so. If it has helped, let me know in the comments down below. I love to see all your comments to, to know that what I'm doing isn't going to waste. And until next time, I'll see you on the next video.